Hey everybody, how's it going? I am your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in Studio MC2 at Quicksurf Internet Studios. The Geekinator is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and get into the cool stuff that I've found for this episode. Over at Hackaday, uh, there is an unorthodox homemade CNC machine. And basically uh, what this guy has done that has made the CNC machine is uh, he, he basically made a CNC machine that's essentially out of PVC tubing. It's pretty cool, actually. Um Mod Happy recently had accepted a challenge to design and build a CNC machine out of cheap and readily available components from a hardware store. And uh, so uh, he uh, noticed that there was a fair amount of uh, uh, plumbing supplies that he could probably uh, use. Uh, and and so, you know, got to work and lo and behold, uh, you know, it's probably not incredibly high precision but for you know basic roughing up of stuff it looks like it would work pretty neat definitely check it out there's also a video of it in action uh pretty awesome from uber gizmo a raspberry pi no ir it's an infrared camera for raspberry pi assuming you happen to be a raspberry pi owner here's a bit of news that you might be interested in after all, we have been already seen a fair amount of creative uses for the Raspberry Pi in various situations. And for those of you who have always had the mind to make use of the device's camera board when it comes to low light or nighttime photography, then it goes without saying that you will need to be involved in a fair amount of delicate tinkering, considering how the unit's IR filter was firmly attached. Until now, the good people over at Raspberry Pi have announced that they will debut the Pi No IR it's an infrared or yeah, it's an infrared camera board with which was specially designed with low light situations in mind. The no IR bit stands for no infrared, which happens to be a reference to the non-existent infrared filter. So this camera will in fact pick up infrared frequencies. So pretty awesome. Definitely check it out. From Geeky Gadgets, Sim Cities of Tomorrow expansion trailer has been released. A nice little preview. It's a, a video up on YouTube. I've got everything linked up in the show notes. I'm a huge fan of Sim City, so uh, you know I, I couldn't resist. Uh, definitely check it out, especially if you're a Sim City player or a Sim City fan. Pretty, pretty awesome. From uh, another video or another uh, link from Hackaday, uh, the VT100 gets beagle boned. That's right. So how do you make a great terminal even better? The answer is simple. Add a beagle bone black to it. Brendan got his hands on one of the staples of classic computing, the DEC VT100 terminal. The VT100 was produced from 1978 to 1983. It was used so widely that it became the standard for other terminals to emulate. Open any terminal program today, and chances are you'll find a setting for VT100 emulation. And this is true. Uh, so this is pretty neat. Definitely take a look. I, I thought this was pretty awesome. You know, it's a great reuse of an old terminal, especially if you're going to be doing just real basic stuff and you just want a nice terminal. So definitely check it out. From Gizmodo, build your own Lego Easy Rider. That's right. If you're just getting started in the world of Lego, it's easy to be overwhelmed by the near limitless potential. That's why starting small is a good idea. There's a book called The Lego Build It Book Amazing Vehicles Volume 2. And uh, well, more amazing vehicles is what it's actually called. Volume 2. And uh, it's from No Starch Press. Uh, it has just recently come out. Definitely take a look at it if you want to. Uh, if you have like a, a you know a youngster in your family that you want to get started with Lego, it's a great place to start. You just need a you know relatively small assortment of bricks to do most of the builds. Um, 
and uh, you know a lot of the builds they're pretty easy to build so definitely take a look at that especially if you're trying to get somebody started in lego from makezine.com cooking a raspberry pie with a raspberry pie that's right i mean raspberry pie as in the pie you eat that's got raspberry filling very good with a raspberry pie the dev board a microwave with a connected barcode scanner that reads and executes instructions for cooking food driven by a Raspberry Pi is what this is all about. Maker Nathan Broadbent decided to cook in the uh, or decided to make a Raspberry Pi in the introductory video of uh, this Raspberry Pi. And uh, he was inspired by a Reddit thread titled food items should have QR codes that instruct the microwave exactly what to do, like high for two minutes, let stand for one minute, medium for one minute, et cetera, et cetera. The food packaging, uh, since it already has UPC barcodes, ta-da, made sense that uh, perhaps it would be just as easy to use those because UPC barcodes are in fact unique. So he went and wrangled up a uh, little way of doing it with buttons and all that. Pretty awesome. Definitely check it out. There's a YouTube video. It's uh, almost three minutes long. Pretty neat. Also from Gizmodo, I know I'm a little heavy in Gizmodo rotation uh, this episode, but still, nonetheless, meet the suburban dad who built his own DeLorean time machine. There's a, a seven and a half minute video. It's roughly seven and a half minutes of a guy who has a shockingly realistic looking DeLorean uh, replica time machine uh, movie prop car that actually does drive around. It's pretty neat. Uh, definitely uh, check this out. It's, it's awesome. I was a little kid when, when Back to the Future came out and, uh, you know, DeLoreans back then, they were the, the thing. And, uh, you know, just see something like this that you can actually drive around and it works and it's beautiful. Uh, it just, you know, you got to check it out just for nostalgia's sake. So pretty cool. That will do it for this edition of the Geekinator. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes, which you can find online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. For those of you who have, thank you for subscribing. And I will see all of you on the next episode. See you then. Bye.